Fox News Alert because we want to bring you back to that breaking news out of Chicago that we told you about at the top of the show. A 19-year-old has been arrested for attempting to travel to the Middle East to join ISIS. The teen detained at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago over the weekend after feds found several handwritten documents at his home that expressed support for ISIS. So there was a so-called notebook, and it indicated that the teen wanted to travel to the Syrian border and fight alongside the terror group. Simon Rosenberg is the president of NDN, a Democratic think tank and a former Clinton campaign advisor. David Avella, the president of GOPAC, a political training center for Republicans. Guys, this is breaking news right now, so uh, thanks for going with the flow here. Uh, here sure. is one of the things that, that this guy, this 19-year-old, apparently wrote in that notebook that I was just talking about. We are all witness that the Western societies are getting more immoral day by day. I do not want my kids being exposed to filth like this. I extend an invitation to my family to join me in the Islamic State. David, what do you say about this? Well, if true, and certainly uh, he has a right to a, a court, but uh, if true, it is, uh, he has decided to take up arms against the United States and needs to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which I think on cases like this could put him in prison for, for 15 years and uh, if not more harsh penalties. But it, it is, uh, it can't be tolerated and uh, very troubling, uh, very troubling to hear. Simon, uh, is it positive that the feds were able to catch him before he left? Because we've been hearing more and more, at least 100 Americans potentially, who have joined ISIS. Yeah, it's very positive. And I think that within that 100, by the way, there are a, a bunch that have been caught also before they left. I don't think that the government is trying to advertise this because I don't think they want to encourage others to go. And so, you know, this is one of the reasons why it's very important that there was bipartisan support uh, this fall for the actions the president is taking over in Syria and Iraq. We've got to destroy and de degrade and destroy, is the words the president's using, ISIS, as soon as, as soon as possible. And it's why it's important that we've been able to build this international coalition to bring this to a swift resolution so that we don't have more foreign fighters leaving the U.S to go yeah, to but, the region. But, but David, it's still, I don't know, maybe it's just me. It's just still unbelievable sca scary to me that we have American citizens. It's one thing if they want to carry out some sort of attack here, but they, they're leaving this country, the United States of America, to go over. This guy was going to go to Istanbul and he wanted to go to the Syrian border. Uh, Gretchen, it is uh, the unfortunate reality of uh, the internet these days that um, it becomes a great recruitment tool for those who want to do harm to the U.S. And based off this story, this gentleman has decided that he's bought into uh, the message being preached by those who want to do harm to America. And it, it only underscores uh, the importance that America keep a strong military, that we stay engaged, that, uh, that we stay on top of this. because. Um, for a while, we were sending the message around the world that we wanted to back out and that we didn't want to take the fight to the enemy. And now we're almost going back to the Bush doctrines is that it's better to take the enemy, the fight to the enemy, than to have the enemy bring the fight to us. Yeah, well, Simon just passed out when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, is he right? <laughs> Well, I, what he's right about is that we have to stay vigilant and, and I think that, you know, to stay engaged in the region. And I think that what I applaud the president for doing uh, at his U.N. speech is that he said things that no American president had said before. And he said that it's time for the, the Sunnis and the Shias to find reconciliation, for the Sunni governments to stop uh, quietly, tacitly, you know, funding their radical proxies in the region. And remember, okay. we went into Iraq, American troops went into Iraq. You know, now we're back again a few years later, right, because the, many of the Arab Sunni governments in the region continue to fund radicals. And so we've got to bring this to an end, all told. So my kids and everyone else's kids aren't going back in there every four or five years. I think the president put some, made some tough talk, and I think we're hopefully he'll act upon that beyond what he's doing in, in Iraq and Syria all right. in the months to well, come. Well, there's a lot of difference of opinion about how we got into this situation that we're currently talking about with regard to ISIS. Yeah. But that's why we continue to have you guys back, and we'll discuss that sure. at another date. Simon and David, thank you. Gretchen, thank right. you so much. So special hazmat crews in Dallas right now.